Okay, so let's unpack that a bit more. Dave, what exactly is Bitcoin mining? So Bitcoin mining is performed by high-powered computers that solve complex computational math problems. These problems are so complex that they cannot be solved by any by hand or, and are complicated enough to tax even incredibly powerful computers. The result of Bitcoin mining is twofold. Okay, first, when computers solve these complex math problems on the Bitcoin network, they produce new Bitcoin, not unlike when a mining operation extracts gold from the ground. And second, by solving computational math problems, Bitcoin miners earn Bitcoin while also ensuring the Bitcoin payment network is trustworthy and secure by verifying its transaction information. When someone sends Bitcoin anywhere, it's called a transaction. Transactions made in store or online are docu documented by banks, point of sale systems and physical receipts. Now, Bitcoin miners achieve the same thing by clumping transactions together in blocks and adding them to a public record called the blockchain. There are now an estimated 100,000 nodes actively maintaining records of those blocks so that they can be verified into the future. So when Bitcoin miners add a new block of transactions to the blockchain, part of their job is to make sure that those transactions are accurate. In particular, Bitcoin miners make sure that Bitcoin is not being duplicated, a unique, a unique quirk of digital currencies called double spending. There are now millions of Bitcoin purchases and sales occurring in a single day. Verifying each of those transactions can be a lot of work for miners. As compensation for their efforts, miners are awarded Bitcoin whenever they add a new block of transactions into the blockchain. The amount of new Bitcoin released with each mined block is called the block reward. The block reward is halved every 210,000 blocks, or roughly every four years. This event is known as the halving. The last halving was in May 2020. This system will continue until around the year 2140. At that point, the miners will be rewarded with fees for processing transactions that network users will pay. These fees ensure that miners still have the incentive to mine and keep the network going. The idea is that the competition for these fees will cause them to remain low after the halvings are finished.